Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at a setup that happened in Amazon this afternoon. You can see that Amazon gapped up off the open and then proceeded to work its way down from that point on. Uh, this is a 30 minute chart and you can see we're just dropping lower highs, lower lows on this 30 minute chart. And then the afternoon session right here at lunch was happening right here on these two bars you had a doji and a doji so we just played bracket the dojis on there because that's what we do on our 30 minute charts we get a couple dojis we just play bracket the dojis and wait for a breakout one way or the other as you can see this broke to the downside and Amazon made a nice drop less than an hour that drop was good for a little more than thirty dollars in Amazon the way we were actually looking at that in the room was off of the two minute chart. And it was just the same thing. We just put our little channel in right here. And at the time we were looking at it, we were right in here somewhere, right in this area. We had put a line at the low of this bar and a line at the top of this bar, which coincided with. Uh, the dojis on the 30 minute chart and we were just waiting for a breakout and you actually had a hint a couple hints that this was going to break to the downside you could see that Amazon pushed lower broke underneath the 20 SMA the 20 SMA was under the 200 SMA and you had a potential aggressive entry right there is when you broke the low of that bar right off the 20 SMA you could have entered off of there you also had a bear flag that set up because you could see these were some strong bearish bars to the downside so you know a strong push into the breakout consolidated for a couple minutes set up a bear flag another bearish bar see these bars are all opening at the top closing at the bottom opening at the top closing at the bottom opening at the top closing at the bottom little consolidation set up the bear flag triggered it to the downside with another bar that opened at the top closed at the bottom so nice strong lead up to the breakout of the channel you had the breakout if you missed that you set up another bear flag that you could have entered on in fact you had a couple different additional bear flags if you missed this to start with but you had a nice strong channel breakout and again, you had some additional things that were suggesting this was going to break to the downside. You can see MQ momentum when we were back up in here actually went negative. Histogram started to turn red. Fast and slow line broke below the zero line and just continued to work their way down. So you had a hint based on momentum that it was going to break to the downside. And then you can see on this bar right here before you broke out of the channel, Twig's money flow went negative as well. So you had momentum confirming a breakout to the downside, money flow confirming a breakout to the downside, um, moving averages, price under your moving averages confirming a breakout to the downside. So you had several hints that this was going to break lower. And again, nice break. This line was right at 23.95 um, and a half. The low of this bar right there was. Uh, 23.65, so roughly $30 in Amazon. You could have either played the stock to the downside, or if you were wanted to trade like a Delta 70 option, a Delta 70 option on a $30 drop would have increased in value right around $24 or $2,400 per option. So some pretty decent opportunities on a channel breakout to the downside in Amazon today.